Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the App Center by Gigabyte. The App Center comes with most Gigabyte motherboards. Uh, this one just so happens to come with the Z87X UD3H. So, got a little bit, you know, some new features for this, and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. If I could drag it over here, I mean, that doesn't look too good, but in any case, Basically, what you're going to get is you're going to get, in a sense, an application here that is modular that you can install different pieces of and then go ahead and use it to either charge your, you know, your, your phones and stuff like that or change, change your BIOS, get BIOS updates, use Easy Tune or Easy Setup, and of course, they have a live update on here. Right now we're looking at the preference screen and of course as you can see under preferences it says change language. You got a skin color so you can change skin colors. And you have an update schedule. You can turn it on, turn it off, have it do uh, things once a month, etc. And then you can change it to run it on the next boot. Next thing that we have going on, if we start down, we have the on off charger too. Basically on off charger 2 does exactly what it says it's going to do it's going to be a faster charger for uh, for your devices so even if you even if you're off you know the system's off you're going to be able to uh, charge your system and get a quick charge out of it not very fancy you get scan of course it'll scan if you if you have devices plugged into it next we have the at bios of course at bios you want to update your BIOS, click Add BIOS, click OK, and it'll also give you the different, what your version is, who the BIOS vendor is, flash memory size, flash memory type. You get updated from server. You get updated from a file that you might have on your computer. You could save it to file. And then you also have a face wizard. Face wizard to change your BIOS post image. Basically, Go ahead and take a picture of yourself, put it up there. It's going to be your post screen, you know, whatever you want to do. Or you could just browse and put a, you know, put a nice image up there of yourself or whatever you want. So that would be the app bios. Next, we're going to go down to the easy tune. Easy tune is exactly what it says. Tune. Performance tune your system. All right. Uh, do I want to? Uh, no. Uh, let's say, uh, nah, we won't do that. All right. Now, just so all you haters out there who keep on telling me, oh, well, you're just showing me the stuff. Listen, dudes, this might be a, in a sense, a tutorial, but I'm not teaching you how to use things. As in, I'm not going to go to a step by step because then I would have to break it down by modules. This is more of a tutorial guide. So if you don't have or you just bought it and you're having a little bit of a problem, maybe trying to find out what's where or what goes wherever, you could always reference this video and take a look at it and see what you're missing. So I don't want to hear is, oh, all you do is just click on from screen to screen. Of course, it's an overview guide. So stop with the crap, people. All right, in any case, let's get back to it. As you can see, it's a fairly decent interface. It's black. It's got blue because I'm using the blue skin. Starts up at the top with Gigabyte, Easy Tune. You have your settings. For your preferences here, retain overclock settings after reboot. Retain smart fan settings. Don't show me this message again. Shut that off. Of course, this minimizes it. This will expand it. So let's go full screen here. And of course, you could close it down. If you look to the, to the left here, we have system information. What is that going to show us? Our system information, what our clock speeds are at, what our memory is set at, what type of motherboard and BIOS version we're using, and what processor we're using. Down below, we have a hardware monitor, tells you your CPU clock speeds, your base clock speed, your multiplier. It also gives you your voltages. 
It will tell you your CPU fan RPMs, depending on what fans you have plugged in. And then to the very right, it'll give you your temperatures, CPU, system, PCH. Now, there's different settings. We have smart, smart quick boost here. And basically all that is, is if we click light, it's going to pre-tune our stuff to 4.1 gigahertz. Click medium, it's going to tune you to 4.3. If you click extreme, it's going to bring you to 4.5. All this does is it's preset in the BIOS via Gigabyte. They set everything up. It's going to change your settings. One click, bam, you're done, baby. You're done. So let's go ahead and look at energy saving, okay? Energy saving is going to go ahead and lower you to a frequency of 0.8 gigahertz. Basically, it's energy saving. So when you're not using it, it's going to bring you down. It's going to save you energy. It's going to do basically what it says. Default, which I have it on right now, of course, is 3.9. And then we also have auto tuning. If now I just clicked on that. I really didn't want to. But in any case, what auto tuning is going to do is it's going to basically, based on my system, it's going to auto-tune the system. So if you saw some other software from other manufacturers, it's basically going to be All the right, same. So, I mean, basically auto-tuning, it's going to pre-tune your stuff. So if you got a processor that's going to hit 4.7, it'll auto-tune it to 4.7. That's basically all it's going to do. So it'll run stability tests until it finds out where your, your stability is maximized at. Then you have your advanced settings. We click on advanced this is where you could do your stuff manually you could save profiles in here you could load profiles you could go back to your defaults etc you could change your bra a graphics clock frequencies there you go let's click default on that your your base clock your memory frequency your turbo ratio for your cores up your voltages so if you click on that, I mean, basically, I would rather do manual inputs. I mean, you could use your slider and everything like that. Don't get me wrong. I would rather do manual, but basically when you bring down the drop-down box, you got all the options to choose from. You could go all the way up to, okay. As you can see, 1.99 volts. Would you want to do that with this process or no? You could change your CPU graphics voltage, your system agent voltage. All the voltages are here. DDR timings, you could change your you you could change your set timings, etc. If you want to save a profile, just say I want to save this profile. I click over here, I click on save profile, I name the I name the profile to what I want it to, click save, and I'm done. If I want to load that pro profile, I do the same thing, go straight into it, pick that profile back, and it'll lo load that profile. Of course, apply, reset. It's fairly simple to navigate and use. They also have added a smart fan to the EasyTune suite. You can calibrate your fan just by clicking calibrate. doesn't take very very long but right now I'm using uh, I'm using a Corsair uh, H100i so I actually have it connected to the USB etc so it's really not going to calibrate anything here because I'm using the actual Corsair software in order to uh, calibrate the fan but I'm just trying to give you a look at how it's going to work and what it's going to set so basically what it's going to do is it's going to calibrate your fan and it's going to for the different you know temperatures that you reach so it, it will automatically increase or decrease your fan speed for you based on your temperatures that you're that you're peaking at at that time so we're at about we're 100 percent done as i said it doesn't take very very long it automatically calibrates things and you're done there you have silent standard 
an extreme by clicking any one of them it's going to set it to those three modes course extreme it's going to be at a hundred percent all the time then you have your advanced mode as you can see I calibrated it so basically what's going to happen here is it calibrated this for me so if I was actually onto the motherboard with the power on on my pump and my fans with my uh, AIO here my H100 by Corsair H100i by Corsair at these different temperatures it would of course bring up my RPMs to my fan to basically peak out so I maintain a good thermal thermal property on my CPU. So if we look to the side here, 100% is going to be 2265, 90% is going to be 228. Like I said, I auto calibrated this just a minute ago. So this is basically what it will do. And it'll tell you where you're going to be at. You got different settings, system fan two and three, system fan one, this is for your system fans. You also have a CPU optional fan. So if you have two, if you have two CPU fans in there on your on your system, you want to plug them in. You could you could change your uh, you could change your what do you call it? You also have an RPM fixed mode where basically it's going to fix your RPMs based on that mode. And this is what we're looking at here. This would be your RPM fixed mode. It'll tell you basically where you're going to be at when you're when you're at your different properties. Of course, you have back. You got to reset, and you have an apply whenever you change your settings. So, if you want to move this down, you could go ahead and move it down. You could set it manually also. I'm going to go ahead and reset that, but basically, that's all you have to do. It's fairly simple, and and it's done, and it's easy. System alerts. Basically, here's your system alert. What does system alert do? You you could set this to alert you if you hit specific RPMs, specific temperatures, etc. So if your fan is revving too high and you want it to tell you that it's hitting 3000 RPMs, go ahead and set your system your CPU fan to 3000 when it hits 3000, it's going to it's going to beep at you. So you know same thing with your CPU temperature, your system temperature, and your PCH temperature. We also have 3D power here. What is this? This is for your phase controls for your VRM. So as you can see, you have phase, you have frequency, and you have voltage here. So right now, the CPU VR, VRIN current protection is on medium, basically. What is that? That's your CPU current protection. What are you going to put it on? Default is medium. Here's your different settings. Standard, low, medium, high, turbo, extreme. When you're overclocking, what you want to do is you want to set your VRM settings. You want to set your phase changes to the different types of, chain, of, of changes that you're going to need in order to achieve that overclock. Here's the DDR current protection. Uh, PWM thermal protection is 130. Channel A and B of the DDR is 130. Phase control is extreme performance. Here's your frequencies. And of course your voltages. This is the load line, load line calibration. Here's your millivolts for your VRIN and your and your uh, and your DDR channel protection. In any case it's fairly simple to use. It's pretty intuitive. It gives you all the options that you need in a nice smart container in a Windows environment. So basically, there you have it. That's a guide, not a tutorial on how to use it. If I was going to do that, I would break down the modules and give you a specific tutorial. We could call this a tutorial because I'm showing you all the different modules in here. But this is more of a guide, so if you don't have this motherboard and you want to see what this motherboard comes with, here you go. It's a guide for you to see what it comes with so you could look at what's provided with the motherboard. All right, everybody. 
Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to this to this uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you visit us at www.hitechlegion.com. Follow us on Facebook or like us on Facebook, facebook.com, front slash HTL Reviews. Also, if you're a Twitterer or a tweeter and you want to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com, hitechlegion. And remember, with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you the next time. Bye-bye.